I was asked, what is the point of having another person involved in Twin Flames at all if they're just going to leave, if, it's, if the separation is inevitable? So let's talk about that, okay? What's up, Manifesting Family? I'm Marna. I am a Manifestation and Mindset Coach, and I approach all of this metaphysical stuff from a science-based perspective. If you don't mind, go ahead and give the uh, thumbs up button a little ring-a-ding for me so that this message can get out to the people who need to see it, and we truly do appreciate that. So, just so you know where I'm coming from, as a Twin Flame, I have been on this journey for 23 years now. And there are people who've been on this journey a lot longer. What we have seen as twin flames have been coming to this earth more frequently is various waves of people are on different paths on how the twin flame relationship develops. So one wave is one of finding your twin, of realizing the purpose together and working together to build a foundation for the next wave. And the next wave will have a different experience as to how well they will relate with their twin flames and what their purpose is. The wave of people that are meeting their twin flames in the last five years or so and some of us experienced this earlier just so that we could be the ones to be able to say, hey, here's the pattern. But the wave that has been coming through is one where you're not going to have the happily ever after with your twin flame, except in very rare circumstances. And I hate to put it so bluntly, but a lot of people are getting very, very hurt and they are not understanding why. The thing is, the relationship is not the point of the Twin Flame. It never has been. The point of the Twin Flame experience is to push you as an individual into an accelerated spiritual growth pattern that you would not have undertaken otherwise. Unfortunately, humans are very, very stubborn creatures, which means we learn best by pain. Pain is what teaches us to avoid certain things and the pain of being separated from our twin flames is what encourages us to do the hard work of learning who we are, why we're here. And yeah, it is hideously unfair that we are being stuck with the universal carrot dangled on a stick in front of our noses that we'll never catch. I'm not going to pretend it's not hugely unfair. The relationship is not the point. The relationship exists solely to propel you into your spiritual growth process. Now, if you and your twin are in sync and can begin this journey of spiritual growth together and grow together and continue to harmonize and have a beautiful relationship work out, more power to you. You're one of the lucky few. The vast majority of people who experience twin flame relationships are going to be bereft. And that is the point. The separation is why we go through this. We are given those months or years, weeks, what, however long of incredible bliss simply so we can learn just how happy we can be. So that we can learn just how much we can love. So that we can know that there is something more than the mundane life that we have been trudging through before this person came into our lives. The twin flame is the wake-up call. It is the sign from the universe saying, hey, there's more out here than you know. It's time for you to start finding it. And let's face it, most of us, 
if that happiness, that joy, that, you know, absolute bliss persisted, we would never search for the physical or metaphysical implications of it. We would never have our spiritual journeys. We would be so tightly wrapped up in that cocoon of happiness that we'd never look beyond it. And boy, wouldn't that be a waste of our potential. The separation is the point because the separation provides the reason we have to each begin our own personal individualized hero's journey. It is the starting point. It is the reason we leave the village that we grew up in. It is the reason that we move beyond what we thought the world was and start seeing the broader implications. It is the reason we begin our adventure. And yeah, it really sucks going through all of this and knowing that there isn't a happy ever after. But at the same time, when you start truly seeing the growth within yourself, when you start seeing what happens as you discover divine masculine and divine feminine exists within you, the incredible incredible bliss you feel as you figure out how to merge that divine masculine divine feminine and take a step forward in ascendance I wouldn't trade those for more time with my twin flame as much as I love them I have grown beyond having the obsessive need to wake up to those brown eyes smiling at me in the sunrise I have grown beyond the obsessive need to know where he is, what he's doing, what he's thinking. And in so doing, I have found that the happiness I felt with him was created within me the entire time. And I can access that happiness, that contentment, that bliss, those golden sunny afternoons anytime I want because all of that was contained within me all along. The journey to find my twin flame and the meaning of the twin flame relationship never had to go any further than my own heart. And as more and more people experience this journey, as more and more people force themselves past the season of pain and past the season of obsession and past the season of crying for a lost love, more and more people are going to start feeling that love within themselves. More and more people are going to start finding that joy within themselves. And as we learn to share that joy, to take that joy which we create within ourselves and share it with the world. We can change the world as a whole, but we have to be willing to move past the pain first. We have to be willing to move past the disappointment, past the bitterness that the universe dangled this carrot in front of us, past the obsession, past the need and into being our whole and complete selves. It's a hell of a journey, and I look forward to seeing you on it. Have a beautiful rest of your day.